Hello, in this tutorial we're going to get started with Transmuter. The first thing I'll do is just fire up Transmuter. And here I am asked to provide a model, either by dropping it here in the drop zone or browsing for it. Okay, so the model has been imported into Transmuter. Here on the left, you can see a preview of the model. You can orbit and pan, just like in SketchUp. And we have a scale figure that will give us the scale of the model, in case uh, its scale is wrong. And on the right, we have various uh, settings and parameters that we can change. The first thing that we notice is that the model is not oriented correctly. So we can change the up axis. In this case, we want the green axis, which is the Y axis, to point up. So let's just make the up axis to plus Y. That's better. We also notice that the model is too big compared to the scale figure. So we are going to change the units, uh, in this case, to centimeters. OK, that's much better. Another thing that we can change is the geometry itself. Here I am going to click on Show Edges to display all the edges of the model. And if I zoom in, you can see that it is composed of many, many faces, way too many. And it's very probable that SketchUp won't like this model because it will be too heavy. So we want to simplify the model. For this, we will reuse the mesh simplification. Simply drag the slider to the right, and this will simplify the model. And here you can see that I have way less faces than at the beginning. Actually, we started with uh, almost 400,000 triangles, and now we are down to only 36,000. We have reduced the triangle count by more than 90%. Uh, I think we can maybe even go higher than that. It will be much easier for SketchUp to handle this model now. We can turn off the edges to see the model and the materials. OK, so we are done with the geometry. Let's go to the Material tab. And here you can see a list of the, all the materials that are applied to the model. So we can either click on a, on a material to expand it and see all of its setting, or we can also use the eyedropper in the preview. And if I click uh, on an object, uh, the corresponding material is automatically expanded here. This is very useful when the materials are not named properly and you don't know which is which. So here you can see that I have a diffuse map uh, reflection map. In this material we also have a color and reflection value. Uh, we can also see that since the bitmap file name contains the word normal, transmitter automatically set the type to normal instead of BAMP. Also in the case of metal, the material type has automatically been set to metal because the name of the material contains the word metal. Uh, this works for many kinds of uh, names like gold, silver, aluminum, stuff like that. And also for other types of uh, materials, for instance, translucent materials. Uh, so this is useful for foliage and paper. For instance, if the material name contains the word uh, leaf, it will be set to translucent. OK, so in this case, everything looks right. The materials have been imported correctly from the source file, but it really depends on the quality of the source file. If it has been exported badly, uh, you may not have the exactly the right material settings you want, uh, but uh, it's an easy fix. You can easily add a new bitmap. For instance, here in the bump, I, can, I could add uh, a bump using 
this one, for instance, and you can see that the field has been populated. Uh, in this case, I don't want any bump on the wood because uh, it has been polished. Uh, we can also change any value, for instance, the reflection of the plastic here. Uh, we don't want it to be fully reflective. Even though it has uh, a normal map, we can lower the, the value a little bit. Okay, so now we are ready. We can click on transmute and this will create a SketchUp file. Okay, now let's open the SketchUp file itself. Okay, so here is our SketchUp file. We can see we have very clean geometry and if I turn on the hidden geometry, you can see all the faces that have been simplified by the mesh simplification. So the model is very light and we can use it uh, easily in SketchUp. I can open the V-Ray Asset Editor and here you can see all the materials that have been created by Transmuter. So for instance here we, the, we have the metal which has been uh, created as fully reflective uh, with a high frontal IOR. We have the plastic with uh, its bump map and uh, the reflection value that we have set in transmuter. Uh, we also have the wood with its diffuse map and reflection map, etc. And we, we can start the test render to see how it looks. Well, that looks right to me. We have uh, the plastic with its bump map, the fully reflective uh, metal, although we cannot really see it because it is reflecting the background. And we have the wood with its nice uh, reflections. And we even have a normal map here on the, on the edge of the wood. So this is for V-Ray, but of course uh, you will have the same quality of materials with Thea and Enscape. Okay, so now let's take a look and at another example, which is not as high quality as this one. I will click on New, and this will open a new transmitter session. Okay, so I need to open the file which in this case is this one. This one you can see that it has been imported at the right scale and orientation, but it doesn't have any material information. So let's take a look. Uh, we can see that we have four materials, but they are all empty, except for having reflection, which is weird because they all have the same reflection value. This can happen sometimes when the, the source file wasn't exported properly and it will lose all the material information. So in this case we need to recreate it, but you will see that it's much easier to do it here in Transmuter than later on in SketchUp. So for the seat, the seat is this part here. Um, I will put uh, some kind of yellow yellowish uh, tint color. I need uh, quite high reflection, but not uh, fully reflective because I want it to be a little bit rough. The legs are metal, so I will just put the metal material type, fully reflective. The leg stoppers are these uh, little pieces here. Uh, it's just generics because it's plastic and maybe a little darker. It doesn't have to be really reflective. And the screws, uh, let me see, the screws are probably at the bottom here. Yeah, looks like it. These are metal as well but we may want them to be 
to have the reflection a little bit blurry. So let's lower the reflection value. And that's it. Let's export it to SketchUp. And let's open it with SketchUp. OK, so here it is. You can see that we have the color we set. And if we look into the V-Ray Asset Editor, we can see all of our material uh, settings have been set properly. So the legs are uh, fully reflective metal. Leg stoppers is a kind of dark plastic. Uh, the seat is uh, yellow yellowish plastic with a little bit of reflection and the screws are a blur blurry metal. Uh, if we try a test render, you can see all the materials have been set properly in just a few clicks in Transmuter. Okay, so that's it for this quick start tutorial. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, we will have uh, other tutorials which will look more in depth into transmitter features. Bye.